Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Today's video is going to be a very different video than any of my other videos I have ever done on YouTube. Um, but I've made a lot of cool story time videos and this video is going to be a little bit of drama and, and it's going to be an actual, I don't know, it's going to be an actual true story and yeah, this video should be interesting and yeah, uh, the last time I've ever done anything crazy and dramatic and I bet and I put it out on social media was like in high school, I, like I've been through a lot in high school. A lot, of, a lot of bad kids, fake kids. I've been catfished a lot and I would expose them on social media. And in 12th grade, I remember, just for fun, I would expose my entire, everyone, like I would roast everyone in the yearbook. And a lot of people didn't really like it, so I just stopped doing it. And yeah, it's been so many years since I've ever like exposed someone or roasted someone or anything like that. But because of what happened to me last week, I just didn't really like it. And I just thought maybe if I, send it a message to that person and to the whole world maybe they wouldn't do that to me again so this video is about the time i got robbed by an eighth grader so how i met this person was i went to i went to my cousin's 19th birthday party which was like in february and we went to some arcade arcade event and they had go-karts laser tag and it said it was a really fun time over there and at that time my cousin's sister my other cousin, my younger cousin, he was dating this boy at the time. So he was invited to my cousin's 19th birthday party. And I saw him and we hanged out for a bit, we talked, had a pretty good time. And I thought it was a really cool, fun kid. And also my cousin's best friend was there. So we all like had a pretty good, fun time. And we all hanged out and etc. And after that night, so my group eyes, I never, and then I lost touch with that kid. With that eighth grade, I didn't really, you know, like add his social or whatnot. But then, so many months later, I then encountered him on Snapchat due to one of my cousins' shout out for shout out on Snapchat. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll add him, no problem. I added him, and then many weeks go by, I would talk to him. He would like, I would like swipe, like comment on his story, and then he would comment on mine. And so we would have some pretty cool conversations, and we became somewhat a pretty good friends. I mean, I don't know where we are now, I don't think. I don't think we might be friends again because he blocked me but no, I'm not gonna try to get to the end too quick so yeah so we started talking we became pretty good friends we added each other on Xbox because he saw that I played GTA so we were gonna play together and and then many months go by it all happened in February and the entire journey was slowly as I, how I met him really so around a few weeks ago I don't know if it was last week or it was two weeks ago but remember when I uploaded my video about how like the ghost town video how I went to city place sort of sell books and nobody was there etc so after my hangout with my friend Alex at the restaurant I, I made a funny joke on my story about this uber driver and then my friend name is Sergey I thought he was my friend but he's not really my friend Sergey um, he, he he swiped up on my story and said hey I would like $15 and I will give you $22 at the end of the weekend and I was like oh sure what do you need it for you trying to buy something nice for yourself or whatever it's like oh um no my sister needs the money and i said oh is it, is it her birthday are you just trying to be nice to her like i was trying to you know ask why he needed the money and he was like yeah my sister needs it my my mom and my sister have been have been arguing and she got kicked out and now there's a lot of problems now i'm just trying to be nice and get her food it's like oh wow that sucks so it's like okay i'll give you 15 dollars and so there has there has been a problem with my cash shop. I couldn't send him money for some reason. And there has and then I thought of Apple Pay. And then so I tried to submit it to Apple Pay. But then finally cash shop worked. So I was like, oh never mind, I'll send it via cash shop. And and then he asked for seventeen dollars after fifteen dollars. Like, oh he, he asked for seventeen dollars and I said, Oh, I didn't even ask him why the why the sudden why the sudden raise in the amount of money he asked for. I just said, Oh Okay, will you be able to give me $25? Like my first instinct was the businessman versus the naive civilian that's like, oh, why are you trying to get more money from me? So I asked, oh, okay, I'll give you $17. Can I get $22? We know. But he was gonna give me $22 at first. So I was like, okay, so why don't you give me $25 at the end of the weekend? He was like, okay, I'll give you $25, no problem. So I was like, oh, cool. He, I send him $17. And he says, like, Sunday night. So, 
Sunday night, I, I haven't seen the money sent to me via cash app. So I was like, oh, something must have been wrong. So I got to him and said, hey, um, what happened? I thought, you got, I thought you were getting paid on Sunday night. Because that's what he said he was getting paid. Because he, he works at Publix, but he hasn't been working. So he's been working with his dad at construction. And keep in mind, he's 14 years old. And that didn't phase me until my other cousin. But we're going to get further into the story. Just hold on. So even though I went to him on Sunday and said... And said, "Oh, what happened?" He says, "Oh, don't worry. I'll give you the Monday. I'll give you the money tomorrow on Monday." I was like, "Oh, okay, no problem." So I wait till Monday, and then I ask for the money, and he goes, "Oh, you know what? I get direct deposited on Thursday." I waited a few more days. I waited a few more days till on Thursday, and next you know, he hasn't given me the money yet. I wait, wait, he said he gets direct deposit on Tuesday or Thursday. So I come to him on Tuesday and ask for $30 just for a little bit of interest. And then I try to make up a story saying that I'm a little bit tight of money. I don't, I'm not really that tight of money. I'm just like trying to get more money. Just because see me being a business person more than a civilian. Just trying to get more money. And so he says, okay, no problem. I'll give you $30. So a couple of days. But before I get more in detail with the story, I'm going to show you guys the text messages of what we went through and so yeah all right so this was the entire conversation that we've had for like an entire week from the starting point that he asked me for money versus at the end of when he just completely blocked me and then re-added me and yeah so he commented on my story and said yo and i was like hi he asked me for fifteen dollars you know give me twenty dollars cash on sunday on friday he asked me that i was like are you trying to buy something and he says yeah i'm trying to get something for my sister he asked just ten dollars and I said okay I'll give you fifteen dollars so and I said okay I'll give you fifteen dollars and then he gives me his cash app and then next you know he proceeds to simp at me trying to say hey hey let's we should play Xbox sometime I was like okay we'll play Xbox and then I was like GTA it was like Fortnite etc just to like make me feel I don't know from go from serious to to sympathize him more to be his friend you know like every other nervous guy does I don't know. So, and so we proceed to talk about that. We never played, like he just, just added me on Xbox and we never played after that. So, so he accidentally clicked the wrong button and I was like, oh, okay, seven to request the money for me. So then, then we worked it out. I was gonna give him the money. And then next, you know, he starts to hype me up more, trying to say, okay, I'm gonna buy your book and I'm gonna tell the whole world about it and get you a bunch of sales. Like, oh, cool. Apple Pay should work. And then I was like, oh, okay, what's your phone number? Because I can't do it via Cash App. So I sent him to him via iMessage. And he was like, thank you, Paul. And then I was like, no problem. Is it your sister's birthday or are you trying to be nice? He was like, oh, yeah, I'm just trying to be nice, get her food. I said, oh, okay. And then he gives a background story. He says, yeah, my mom kicked her out of the house. She has no food. It's a really rough time for us. And then I was like, oh, that sucks. Did she do something super bad? And she was like, kind of. My mom was just, my, she was just fighting with my mom a lot. And my check isn't coming until Sunday. So I go, oh, okay. And like, yeah. And then, and then Monday, it was past Sunday. And then Monday, I was like, oh, by the way, what time did you say you were going to cash on me? So I was trying to be professional, nice. And I'd be like, yo, where's my money? I'm going to come over and fight you. Like, every other guy does. Look, like, be nice. And he was like, oh, where's my money? And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna. And then I said, oh, okay, hopefully before 12 a.m. Just to give him a little extra time. And then um, and then Tuesday come. Even though I knew he didn't give me my money, I asked for a little bit more money. And then I said, hey, do you think I could get $25 by tonight? I'm really super low on money. And I also will forgive you for being late too. He goes, yeah, I got you. Let me get paid. The money is going in my account. Just request an Apple Pay through tax because I only got cash right now. And then I was like, oh, okay, do you think you'll... And then I was like, oh, okay, how soon do you think you'll get paid? And then I, and then, and then I will request an Apple Pay. And then, his, then he said that his dad said later Tuesday or Thursday. So I was like, oh, okay. After that, he never texted me ever again. Yeah, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. So I waited all the way to Thursday. I even waited till Thursday night. And... I was getting a little bit impatient, so I went to him, tried to see his, uh, so I scrolled to his name, then I noticed that the, the name turned into the username, which means that he blocked me, so I noticed that he blocked me, 
and I got a little mad. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to my cousin who used to date, who I thought they were still dating, but they're not. So I started talking to my other cousin. And so I was like, I was like talking to my cousin about Sergey. And then she was like, how do you even know who the heck Sergey is? And I was like, obviously all met at the birthday party of my other cousin, her brother. And I said that I gave him $17 through cash up. He wanted to help his sister. And said that he was gonna give me $22 the next two days. And he hasn't paid me back yet. And it's been a day overdue. And I wanted to see if he was ripping me off or not. And then, yeah, I told him about the birthday party thing. And then she was like, when was this? Why would you give him money for? He's a liar. And I was like, no, he's not. And then, and then two days ago, like I was trying to, so I was trying to defend a liar, which makes no sense. So not only he robbed me, he lied to me, and on top of that, I defended him. And uh, and then she was like, don't trust this kid. I'm telling you. And then that's when she started to tell me that they are not in good terms and do not pay him back. He needs to pay you back. And I asked him why you guys are not in good terms. And she said we broke up a while ago. He is a liar. I don't think he will pay you back. He probably just needs it for drugs. And I was like, no. Sister kicked him out of the house. He needed the money. And you know what? I'm going to ask for $30. And if he doesn't pay back, then oh well, she's going to face consequences. And then she laughed. And, and she was like, wait, ask him now. And let me know what he says. And, and then if, she, and if he doesn't pay back, she will deal with it. And then I told her, I told her that he texted back 40 minutes ago. And he said that he will pay me back as soon as he gets back, either tonight or Thursday, since he only has cash. So I'm gonna wait until Thursday night at the latest and see what happens then. And then these, these audio messages basically talk about how he always hangs out with my cousin and how he always tries to ask for accessories like Gucci and etc. And, and he always asks for money and all these nice things that he wears like chains and clothes. It's mostly from the money that he asks. He doesn't really work for his money. And then she starts to talk about how how he claims that he works at a construction work construction company with his dad and he's only fourteen and doesn't know how and does not work there anymore and at, and doesn't know where she he gets his money from because since he doesn't have a job. And then she says he claims that he works at a construction because he's fourteen. So I don't know how he works there and he does not work there anymore. I don't know where he gets his money from and he does not have a job. I don't think at least, but I bet the money you gave him were for drugs because his sister has his own job and and what did you text him? Like, did you ask for $30? And so far I only know he asked you for money but I don't talk to him anymore. And then, and then I started telling her that yeah, he's giving me $30 and he says that he currently works at Publix and I guess it can work with him working with his dad at his company since it's technically a family business. And I remember going with my dad to his job and just buying stuff all day, but yeah. Hope I get $30 this Thursday. He said he's gonna buy my book at this point. I don't even know if he's being honest. And she goes, bro, first of all, he doesn't even read. I doubt this man works. And I was like, lol, sheesh, this guy is all pretty on the outside, but ugly on the inside, I guess. Number seven. And then on Friday, that's when my cousin started to get my cousin's best friend involved and he he talked to her. So we started getting more people involved and later on he eventually paid back, which was on a Friday or Saturday. But good thing I got back and I got my money back. And yeah, so I wasn't gonna upload this video, but I don't have content. So I just thought it'd be a really good, a really good content video for you guys. I think it'll be really good for you guys since you guys I've been bored at home doing nothing, so I just think a little bit of drama would make you feel a little bit more exciting and exhilarating, and yeah. That is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And also, I heard that in the Bible, when people ask you for money, you should always, you shouldn't give them money, because it'll, think about debt, it'll bring your money lower, and the chances of you getting the money back is very low. It's just, you shouldn't trust anyone overall, period. And yeah, I don't know why I trust a 14-year-old. And so yeah, stay safe and protect your money at all costs and yeah make sure you guys give this video a huge like comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye